Okay, chemistry, this is experiment 13.1 on uh, enthalpy, and it's also a review of calorimetry. So when we used uh, the calorimeters, we used two styrofoam cups. I don't have a styrofoam cup. So this is actually a little uh, plastic mug. It also is insulated with air, so it's gonna be pretty decent. Uh, in this experiment, we are using 100 mils of white vinegar, which has already been measured out, and I'm gonna put that in right now. And we're gonna let that um, get to room temperature. Okay, the second thing we're using is lye, which we're gonna use in the form of a Drano. This is pretty uh, caustic stuff, that's why I'm wearing gloves. I'm sure I'm also supposed to be wearing goggles or eyeglasses, but alas, I am not. Okay, so in the lab it says we don't have a scale that is good enough to measure a half a teaspoon. We do. Uh, it's right here, let me grab it while our vinegar is still getting to our solid temp. It's this little guy and it works awesome. And uh, what I did is I turned it on, I hit tear weight, and then I measured a half a teaspoon of lye in this little pourable container. So you're gonna wanna write this number down. The mass of the lye is 3.615. Write it down, 3.615. Now, from what you've done thus far and you're on your own and you're reading, uh, what all I want for your hypothesis on this experiment is if you think it's going to be exothermic with a negative enthalpy or endothermic with a positive enthalpy. Did I say that right? Shoot. I gotta double check my numbers. I'm looking at my book. Positive endothermic, negative exothermic. Yes. Okay. So our initial temp in vinegar. So you're gonna write that hypothesis, write that question. Will this experiment be exothermic or endothermic when I put Drano and vinegar? That's your hypothesis, that's it. So pause this and write that. That's the question, that's your hypothesis. And we're back. Hopefully you did what I asked you to do. Okay, your initial temperature of the vinegar, we are using Celsius. Now it's gonna sound like my house is freezing, but this actually came from the garage, so we're using it as our initial temp. Uh, I am reading it at, as clear as I can, um, let's call that 12, 12 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I need to get a timer out because the next thing I'm supposed to do is every 30 seconds read this. Here we go. Uh, whoops, timer. Now I hope this doesn't smell bad because we are in my house. Okay, so I'm adding the Drano lye to my vinegar. Make sure it's all in there. A little bit got stuck in my container. Now I'm just stirring with my thermometer and I can bring this down for you so you can see what's happening. So you can see this exciting stirring motion. Okay, so every 30 seconds we are going to get a reading. And then after two 30 second rounds of the same temperature, we will assume that our experiment um, is at its end point. Smells like vinegar still. Okay, we're at our first 30 seconds. We're at 20 degrees Celsius. So you could probably already tell right now if your hypothesis was correct or incorrect. This is creating a heat as a product, which makes it exothermic, which means our enthalpy will be negative. Oh, we're so slightly quenching. I wish you guys could do these experiments on your own. Okay, we are now at the second 30 second mark at 22 degrees Celsius. Might only go one more, it doesn't seem. Like we're really getting a ton of increase here anymore. Okay, 15 seconds. So you could do this at home. If you wanted to just uh, use some Drano and some vinegar, if you have a thermometer. Most people don't have a thermometer, I guess, at home. All right, we are at our next 30 seconds. We're at 22 again. So that is our end point. Uh, of this experiment, you should have all the data you need. Read the rest of the experiment um, on page 422, we made it to that point, and that's gonna walk you through the math 
It's also going to walk you through the steps of finding the molar mass of this guy, uh, finding the ent entropy of this um, reaction. So that's what to do next Thursday.